Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is going to be a couple-minute preview to the New York Rangers versus our Philadelphia Flyers tonight as we play them up in New York at MSG, the Madison Square Garden, as it is going to be a great goaltender matchup this evening between Carter Hart and Igor Shosturkin, where Shosturkin on the season is 11-3-2 with a 2-2-2 and a 9-33 save percentage. He has been absolutely ridiculous this year and has been killing it since the season start, and also has one shutout on the season. And then, obviously, our netminder, Carter Hart, um, he is 5-5-3. Five, five, and three. The record is because of the team's play, obviously, not really any fault of his. Um, and then 2-6-7, save percentage. And then, for Carter, of course, on the season, he also has one shut out in 786, 31 minutes played, according to NHL.com, where when it came to Igor Shosturkin, since I forgot to give that stat, according to NHL.com, he has 9, 18, 13 uh, minutes played, so obviously more for him there, which is to be expected, because uh, Alexander Gorgiev, is a solid backup, but this season is not performing as one, so that where Martin Jones is performing as one for the Flyers, so obviously the overplaying of Shesterkin or playing him more early is to be expected. But players to watch is quite obvious um, on them. Artemi Panarin's been killing the Flyers since his Blue Jackets days. you got to watch Artemi Panarin. Adam Fox is one of the best defensemen, obviously one of Norris already, one of the best defensemen. In all of hockey, you got to watch Adam Fox. Four goals, 17 assists, 21 points, already a plus eight, already a points per game defenseman. Great on the other side of the puck as well. Player to watch. Artemi Panarin, aforementioned, 21 points as well. A guy that's an assist wizard, but obviously you can pop the puck in the net with the best of them if you give him an open shot. Alexis Lafreniere only has six points, but really has been coming to his own, looking a lot more keen and zoned in on the ice lately you really got to watch him and then they got a solid fourth line because they got Barkley Goodrow who's always been a consistent fourth liner Ryan Reeves and then the guy Kevin Rooney who has five goals on the fourth line which is a good output for a fourth line so the Rangers have a very productive fourth line as well the Flyers are going to need guys to contribute in their bottom six big time in this game as well because Lafreniere, Heidel, and Gother um, in your bottom six is the third line, uh, which is which is hard to call lines first, second, third nowadays with how well coaches mix them up in the, today's game. But still, it is how the line structure is. Rooney, Goodrow, and Reeves as the listed fourth line. Panarin, Strom, and Dryden Hunt as the listed second line, um, who has been playing well since moving up the lineup as well. On the last game against Boston, he had one goal, one assist for two points. Dryden Hunt did. And then you have Zibanejad and then Kapokako and Kreider, who is probably going to be their future captain, should be, on the first line. And then for the Flyers, you have Broussard, Brown, Ellis, and Nate Thompson, who are out. The fourth line is going to be McEwen, the great, one of the best wingers, great uh, waiver pick of one of the best wingers on our team this season. Bunny and Lindblom. Hayes is back on the third line with Scott Lawton and Travis Konechny. Morgan Frost with Atkinson, Giroux. Really like that line. Agree with Chris Mayer. That's a great put-together line. Fairby, Couturier, and JVR on the first line. I think it's nice to see JVR to try to get him going more offensively. Has been, like JJ said on some broadcast, doing the good things, using his body to box guys out and size in certain games, but McEwen's been the only guy doing that consistently so I think it's good to get JVR on that top line and try to get him going but it's also eventually in order to get Limblum going I don't think putting him on the fourth line is going to do that so eventually you're gonna have to move him up as well but you have Provorov and Sealer. imagine that at the beginning of the season Nick Sealer playing on the first pairing Travis Sanheim and Rasmus Ristolainen on the second Keith Yandel and Justin Braun on the third pairing so obviously for tonight on paper this game does not stack up good for the Flyers uh, they're 18th in overall goals against games played. They haven't been playing very well in front of their goaltender, especially of late. And uh, goals against games played, they're top 10 um, when it comes to the New York Rangers at 9th. And then almost scored three goals a game at 14th, 2.95. And the Flyers being all the way at 26th in that category. Where the only thing the Flyers really beat them in is the PK by about 4%. And then... The face off percentage, 53.9 to 45.3. And then the power play, 
of the Rangers is 12, so still adequate at 20.3. The Flyers is absolutely at the bottom, buried at 13.1% for 27. So on paper, this game obviously does not stack up as a game that looks like Carter Hart is probably going to have to steal it for the ideal way for the Flyers to win the game. But hockey's not played on paper. We've seen that before. Obviously, nobody last season thought the Canadians were going to make the run all the way to the postseason. And nobody thought this season, even with guys lost, they would play some guys pretty well, um, that they could be as bad as they were this season. So hockey's not played, obviously, on paper. So hopefully the Flyers are able to lose this six-game skid tonight um, against the New York Rangers. They're obviously a lot more well-rested. They're not coming in off of back-to-backs as the Islanders game. They were resumed for action today by the NHL, but we did not obviously have the game last night. So that's a benefit for the Flyers playing this great Rangers team, not having to go off of back-to-backs, of course, where the Rangers, too, did not play last night. So you have rested teams coming in tonight, going to have their full skates behind them. Flyers really need to play an aggressive game. Otherwise, this has the makings of a game that Carter Hart is going to have to steal. you got to be more aggressive. No more just boring dump and chase on the board play. You have the shot. It doesn't have to be a... a 14 karat gold shot to shoot the damn puck and try to get it on net and get the offense going. I think Hayes being back will help, obviously, but he's not going to be using the PK tonight per reports, just on the power play a bit, and they're not going to limit him on 5-5 five and five play because you don't want to overtax him coming back from injury, which makes sense per AV. So peace out, everybody. Stay safe and go Flyers. Hopefully, we can end that skid tonight. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day, everybody. Peace out, and as always, special thanks to the 170 that have subbed already. If you enjoy the content, please consider subbing to keep us going and growing. Peace, everybody.